That's some nice uh, East Indo music in the background there. And thank you for joining us this evening for our webinar, Dream Home, Dream Land, Dream Life in Portugal with Israel Oliveira. So let me just fade down the music and uh, bring the gentleman in question onto your screens. I think it's a, a somewhat unusual day in the capital. I think he likes to be out in nature. And uh, today he was in the capital. Let's so let's say hello to him. Hello, Joao Oliveira of Mushmore. How are you? Thank you for being here this evening. I'm great. Uh, thank you for having me here, Carl. Oh, so good to see you. I always look, really enjoy talking to you. I thank honestly you. very rarely know what we're going to talk about. Um, and this is no exception, except I know this will be entertaining, informative and, and deeply useful to people who are looking for their dream home, dream land and dream life in Portugal. And it will be a, a somewhat unusual view because yours yours is not a mainstream view. I don't think you would, you would find that an unkind assessment of your approach to life. <laughs> You're more of a natural, organic, permacultural kind of guy, right? Yes. Uh, well, uh Maybe not only permaculture, but everything around agroecology. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's funny to to come down to Lisbon, the the city that in which I was born and raised. Oh, really? And um, and it's funny, but uh, maybe not only Lisbon. Uh, Lisbon is is always order because uh, after all, there was a life uh, of myself here. But cities in general, because uh, uh, I like the soil. <laughs> I like the soil, you know. I like yeah. to I like to put to, to feel my feet on bare ground, and uh, yeah, and uh, and it kind of feels uh, funny uh, not seeing the ecosystem. Sometimes hearing it here and there, some birds, but it's it's funny. It's funny. I don't know how to interpret a city as I as I as I'm used to. Uh, interpret uh, a landfield you know so well can we can I start you there this evening by way of an introduction to to you and and, and what you're about these days um mm -hmm. you're born born in in Lisboa right yeah. you grew up there as a kid so so um that, that this is some sort of transformation has taken place to turn the city boy into a mm -hmm. country loving fellow what what happened what what, what was the <coughs> what was the turning point for you Joao? Uh, well, uh, uh, it was a heart attack <laughs> at 33 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it was. So okay. <laughs> it kind of works <laughs> the harsh way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, it's something that 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 catches you, you know. So it's uh, it's very useful to understand that life is is very fragile, and uh, actually, yes. without health. Uh, you're not even uh, feeling like to do uh, anything about your day, you know. Yeah. So and and you just need a flu for it. Um, so so yeah, uh, it 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 is a very important moment uh, uh, in in a in a person's life when uh, you're asked uh, by yourself and by and by the, the the great intelligence of of it all. What the hell have you been doing here? Uh, it's, not, it's not what are we doing here that I can tell you that we are preparing death without resentment. That's pretty much, you know, because resentment will uh, hurt you like hell when uh, when you're dying. So it's uh, so the pur purgatory, it's true, actually. And uh, it kind of feels like uh, uh, taking your skin away because actually you're entering into a light and the, and the light, it's very fast. It's, it's the, the speed of light. So your, your body actually um, kind of rips itself in in the memories of the things that you have not done. So it's not that hurts you the things that you have done, uh, the mistakes. What might hurt you is the is uh, acknowledging the mistake and not correcting it, for instance, or just not doing stuff that you felt like you should have, and that, that's really good. That's really really painful. Uh, but so uh, it was a turning point in my life in which uh, now I really have to do it. Uh, I have to to, to win myself. Uh, uh, all the all the everybody has some challenges, and uh, and yes, once once you manage to to beat yourself, then you you actually uh, expose yourself to to new opportunities and to great opportunities. So, but it's 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 very hard. It's it's always hard. Uh, but hard uh, does not make you unhappy, not at all. Hard makes you tougher, makes you feeling more, even more powerful day by day. So, if you're if you're living uh, in a in a hard way, 
then uh, uh, in a hard way it doesn't need to be material, not at all, but in a, in a way that you uh, expect from yourself uh, improving each day. That's something very Greek from, from, the, from the Greek philosophy, that if you learn something or, or if you improve just a bit, tiny bit every day, then you will die wise. That's, that's pretty wow. cool. Well, wow. I knew this was going to be interesting tonight. We've barely begun, and you've already <laughs> you, you're already speaking like a man who had a near death experience. Is that how it was? This, yeah. this, was a, this was a life life changing transformational moment for you. Yeah, because you realize that you're not uh, contributing in a, in a positive way to the reason of it all. You know, so and all is life. And uh, and uh, yeah, and, uh, and life is everything. Uh, when you touch life, you touch creation, and then you get touched, you know, even like emotionally touched yeah. by by creation. So if you connect yourself with life, you connect yourself with your purpose in life. And uh, actually, um, for instance, it, it's it's a very common thing, and it's not a, a critic, but a lot of people. Uh, tr tend to protect more pets than animals in general or biodiversity you know and for me i feel as painful the the, the death of uh, of a fox than the death of a dog you know uh, i love my dog i love the dog before it and uh, and she she's actually a queen in my life she has all the trunk in the car for herself i put my bags in the in the in the back seat <laughs> so all the trunk it's for my dog, but she's a dog. She's a pet, you know. She's not a, a kid. She's not a, a human being, the son that I didn't have. No, she, she's a pet. You know, she's spoiled like a pet, but not spoiled like a brat, you know. So <laughs> we need we need to to realize that life uh, life is the tree. I I, I have this uh, idea idea fix syndrome from from Asterix. I like to call it the idea fix syndrome. Every time that I see a, a fallen tree there's something uh, painful inside myself and sad you know and um, because trees usually die standing and that's something that we also need to to learn to die standing in a in a, in a metaphorical way you know oh. so uh, at least we we can die trying you know trying uh, to improve trying to do trying to to give, trying to become, uh, that's that's like a, a tree, you know. That's uh, something very odd in humans. Uh, is we are the only species on the earth that is not doing the best every every moment, every niche moment. So, always a plant is doing its best. Always an animal is doing its best. They're always living in their, their top potential, and we need gurus to <laughs> to check how can we do it. You know, we we've lost it. Humans lost it, lost that connection, you know. So once you get, you have the opportunity of dying, uh, but not, but given a, a second chance, then you realize uh, some kind of things and you cannot put yourself over or under a bird or um, birds are always striving for, for, for their life and, and for their well-being and for the family. So. It's pretty much like you, you know. So uh, if I if I fight for something, then I fight uh, in an equal way for a pet, for a human, and for uh, for biodiversity. Uh, so, and I do realize that I'm a human too, uh, in, in a human society. But it's like the other one says, I pay my taxes, so I'm uh, I'm contributing. Uh, yes. I'm a, a non-profit uh, uh, company, you know. So, uh, and everything that goes for me will go for taxes too, for IRS. So, and, uh, and uh, yeah, so humans uh, have the privilege uh, of having a society to take care of themselves. The, the animals have the ecosystems to take care of this, themselves, but we are destroying the ecosystem. So we are destroying their uh, capacity to, to watch out for themselves. And this is the context that we're talking within tonight, isn't it? Because um, many people, uh, myself included, have come to Portugal <clears throat> to create a better opportunity to to embrace what we see as beautiful about Portugal. And um, 
part of the work of us as the Portugal club and how uh, Luisa and I like to operate as Good Morning Portugal is to go a little bit beyond the fact that it's um, a cheaper place to be um, and these material benefits. that They are true, but that to me, they are not extraordinary. Uh, we're not, we're not um, achieving our extraordinary potential as expats and foreigners and, as, and immigrants as, as people who've been attracted to Portugal. And there's something much more than, um, I call it peak pastel donata, you know, where there, there comes a point where you've enjoyed your pastries and the cost of living. And we're always reminded as human beings, coming back to what you said, how the guru needs to remind us that there might be more to life than just taking care of our material needs in a, in a more advantageous climate. And that's the, the context for tonight's discussion, as I understand it, is that you you have insights um, way beyond most people's scope in how, how it might be that people would look at a piece of land um, and engage with that piece of land, how they might choose a home, how they might engage with the society, how they might connect with their neighbours and their community. You always seem to me, in the few conversations we've had, to have an extraordinary a perspective and, and context for, for what you say and, and and you say some really inspiring things in quite a matter of fact way so I'm hoping for more of that this evening within this idea of people coming to Portugal looking for their dream home and their dream life and their dream land and I know that you'll do that slightly differently this evening when did this happen to you Joao when did you have this transformational moment well uh, uh, at the moment of the of the architect I was living in Germany Right. Respect to, to, to Germans. Uh, but it is a tough country for, uh, for an expat. Uh, I couldn't find uh, a job on my qualifications and on, on my talents because I, won't, I wasn't speaking uh, nearly uh, native uh, German. Okay. You know, I was even speaking a, a funny one because people enjoyed my accent. Uh, they used to call lead French. But that's on the on the social level, on the professional level, or you go to a multinational corporation, or you cannot find really a, a, a nice job in Germany, or at least you couldn't twenty years ago. Um, so I was working for uh, three or four or five countries uh, by each each given moment, uh, different countries from Germany, uh, doing uh, uh, develop uh, communication development. Um, and then I went to, to Netherlands and uh, uh, I went to Netherlands because one of my clients, uh, it was a, a, an oculum company. So on uh, uh, mushrooms, you have three oh. levels, the, the mushroom producers, the, 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 uh, they produce uh, on the substrate that they buy to these companies that produce the substrate on the, on the cultures that they buy from these companies. And I was uh, developing the website and the, and the catalogs and brochures and stuff for this company. And uh, and uh, then, uh, and this company had already g uh, given me the, the, the invitation of uh, moving there and working on a, on, on a contract to them. And uh, uh, actually it was the, the easiest uh, uh, ticket uh, out from Germany that I had after an architect, you know? Uh, and it was even in the winter, uh, you know, so uh, like it's a, it's a very, very uh, strong uh, sensation to, to get out from an architect and see all the snow. <laughs> that you can't see the sun for a week, you know, it's, it's not really something for a Mediterranean to, to be able to <laughs> enjoy it. Uh, after an architect in an hospital, you know. So um, from there, from uh, the moment I was in the hospital, I was already thinking, hey, this company gave me this opportunity, let me check as soon as I get out from here, <laughs> if I can go there. <clears throat> and, um, and yes, I did, and yes, I did. And Portuguese are usually one of the best workers abroad, you know. Uh, they need to go abroad because this country mm -hmm is a very uh, well um, still uh, in tropic uh, country to to get uh, a, a working career professional career just based on merit you know and not really on knowledges on on uh, birth 
group, social group, and stuff like that. Uh, you need some luck here. So uh, that's why a lot of uh, good, talented Portuguese go abroad, and they, they are the best uh, at where, where they are. And in this company, the boss was the one uh, holding all the secrets, you know, like Coca-Cola in the end. And uh, he was making, uh, developing this strain for, for three or four months. And uh, the mushroom from that strain was actually uh, coming out as he was having um, uh, a wedding, uh, a wedding for, from the sister-in-law in Berlin. So everybody, uh, he was kind of freaking out because the mushroom hasn't opened yet and he needed to make a good spore, not contaminated. So if he would wait until he, he would return, could be very likely that uh, it would be already contaminated because then the mushroom starts eating itself. And as a good Portuguese, I said, hey, man, no problem. Just let me know how I do it. And I, oh, no, you cannot do it. And yes, I can. Why, why, why shouldn't I do it? Anyway, anyway, it's not that you have a choice. Or, or you don't go or you just tell me how to do it. You know, so he actually told. You know, so like the Portuguese stays on a Saturday night <laughs> going to a lab that he never went to make this, this uh, sports and suspension. Um, Mother, mother culture uh, bottle, you know, <clears throat> and it worked and it worked really awesomely. And uh, uh, then he taught me other things, and then he realized that he, he liked much better being a, a, a businessman than rather a, a technical director of a lab. So I became it like in six months, and then we really developed and start doing awesome stuff until he was. Uh, within one year or le no, one year, maybe more, one year and a half, he was the, the, the leader of his segment. And I had promised myself, and I had had already an architect, so I, I should know better. I promised myself then that, uh, and himself, that once he was the top of his pops, then I would come back to, to Portugal to, to, to develop another mission. So I did. And uh, then uh, I, I, I went to this, this competition, 5,000 euros competition, to make a, a cooperative, and uh, I won. And uh, then much more was, was created and founded uh, as um, a place, uh, as a project uh, in which um, um, people with disability could uh, uh, learn how to produce mushrooms and feed the needs of uh, of technical trained uh, uh, labor uh, to the to the mushroom cultivation industry. That oh. failed. That failed, and that failed. Why? So expect feel okay. Uh, we can make a, a, this this anonymous going to Portugal uh, group. <laughs> so uh, in one year and after two calls by the e, by, by by the ministry of, of employment or the institute of, of employment uh, after two calls i didn't add one one person with disability because in portugal if you are disabled you receive you receive a pension and if you go to work then you lose your pension yes i'm familiar yes. with the pension, you yeah. know and the pension yeah. is actually the only thing nearly left that a disabled person has uh, mainly after having such a trauma you yep. know so and for the for the mental disability even worse that's very socially strong uh, it is a source of income for several families yep. so having their uh, mental disabled uh, 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 kid son uh, brother whatever in an institution and still receiving his pension is a uh, is a uh, is a way of having an income for several families in Portugal. They send they send the, the, the disabled people to an institution, and uh, therefore the, the disabled person does not have any 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 needs of income, and they have their income to so they would lose the income if the, <laughs> if the disabled not, person. Yeah, Portugal's not alone with this. I understand uh, how this works in a in a, a welfare state. <laughs> Joel, I wonder if you could turn your volume down a little bit. We've got a bit of a feedback loop. I, I keep wanting to agree with you quite loudly, and it comes out through your speaker. 
So if you could turn your mm. volume down just a tad to your to a comfortable level. Let's try now. Yeah. The, the okay. If I testing, you. testing. One, two, one, two. Okay. I think we're okay. okay, okay. We'll, we'll try anyway. But this is an extraordinary journey then from um, being a, a sounds what sounds like an international corporate guy. You have a heart attack. Um, which is effectively a near-death experience and gives you a completely new view of life and an understanding, mm -hmm. appreciation of life. Um, and you begin a company, and it sounds like it, it hasn't worked out quite as planned. Um, what's the what's the next iteration then after after this realization that uh, the whilst the the aim is noble to to uh, help with that social situation of employing people with disabilities, the actual reality of that is it's not so easy. So where did you take it from there? Well, I, I took it uh, f uh, with uh, the the big fires of 2017. Wow! So, um, as a, as an ex journalist before developing the, the, the communication of companies, I uh, I have been a journalist uh, and originally sociologist. I mean sociology. Uh, so in both sociology and journalism, if you want to be good, you need to research always. In, if you want to 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 understand anything, then you research and then you do the work about that knowledge. You know, so um, with the with the, the the big fires of 2017, uh, there were there were some people uh, asking me for help uh, for help uh, uh, by regenerating the, the 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 burned lands. You know, and why? Because if you understand fungi, then you understand the soil. You know, and everything that you see out from the, up from the soil, it's the consequence from what is down from the soil. So if you be, if you see trees with diseases, it could be very likely that also that the problem is on the soil. You know, so otherwise it would be uh, at least strong enough to 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 defeat most of the disease. And if you see a very uh, uh, small tree. But having a, a, a big log, then likely the soil uh, is the is the, the source of that happening. Uh, so uh, with those fires, then um, I had something that I was kind of uh, <clears throat> kind of needing also with with the mushrooms. Uh, well, the disappointment of the system also asks for change. But uh, I wasn't having a life because producing mushrooms, it's uh, like having a restaurant, you know? Your uh, relief dates going you know, to, to, to the taxis and going to uh, supplies and, you know? So uh, mushrooms are always popping out, like the, the, the story from, from my last boss. You know, they're always popping out. And if you really want to sell them fresh and have the, and have the market in your end, then you need to always be there and, and, and taking them, you know, and, and, and distributing them. So um, the perspective of going from farm to farm was pretty awesome. And uh, in uh, since 2017, with two, uh, I have like 300,000 kilometers done, you know, yeah, 300,000 kilometers done. So what of, 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 of um, consulting with farms to, to help them regenerate yeah. their land? Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty much with some family, obviously, in the in the move, but but yeah, pretty much. So my last car, uh, I made two hundred and fifty thousand kilometers, and now this car has already fifty thousand. So that's <laughs> that's pretty much how much I've traveled in the in the in the last years, in the last five years. And can and, you say um, more than about what it is you do for these for these particular uh, farmers and and how you how you help well, in the aftermath of the fires? Well, I I help them uh, to manage their lands in a in a agroecological way. What is agroecology? It's uh, it's the the, the 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 blending between ecology and and agronomy. You know, so it's making uh, uh, the agronomic work. Uh, uh, or, or the forestry work in an ecological, uh, uh, meaningful way, or or, sense, or, or or common sense in nearly way, you know. So it's uh, knowing, uh, understanding uh, the laws of the ecosystem and applying them to the way that you that you produce food, or that you breed animals, or that or that you grow forests. And uh, for that, there is a huge lack of. Uh, uh, 
of knowledge and, and of people knowing how to do it. Mm -hmm. So um, actually, it's pretty natural that you travel all around the country, including islands, as I did. Uh, the, the, the only region that I haven't worked in uh, in Portugal was, for some reason, Trás-os-Montes. But I also uh, believe that I might do. Uh, but so if you if you have a specialized knowledge, uh, it's very natural that a lot of people from different places need you because they won't find it there uh, where they live. So that's that's pretty much. Uh, but but yes, I make all kinds of consultancy for also for helping people to find their own lands. Or defining better uh, what the, their dreamland should be, you know, um, uh, that can really, really, really help. Because one thing is finding the client before buying the land; another thing is finding the client after buying the land, uh, for good and for worse, you know. And uh, and for instance, could be that uh, I personally could not buy wonderful pieces of land just because they would be in that particular place of Portugal, you know? And maybe I could buy something that was not so that much what, what I was looking for, but it would be on another region. So it kind of happened in the, in the, 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 the place is great, but it's very important that you do not buy a place where if you are surrounded by people spraying poison or, or pretty much the, the city hall doesn't work and it will never work, uh, uh, or you have um, a very um, narrow-minded for, for, for innovation. So um, one thing that I could really, 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 really uh, advise uh, all the experts and maybe even the Portuguese, everyone, you know, it's do not go to a place thinking that you have anything to teach to others. Everything that you might have is to demonstrate, okay? Not teach, demonstrate. If you really want to teach something, demonstrate that it works. Once it works, everybody believes, you know? They don't need even to understand why, but if it works, then they actually uh, uh, will believe and then you will actually have something to, 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 to teach them, you know? Uh, well, that's a, a fantastic first lesson um, when it comes to uh, helping people because um, what I'd love to do now um, we, we have a sense of who you are and, and what you offer uh, just a sense because I think it's quite vast uh, mm. what, what, what you're Maybe. able to share with people but or oh, and um, the the typical um, approach I think that I've been aware of in the last I don't know, 15 years, I think, since I've been aware of um, foreigners coming to Portugal, particularly central Portugal, and um, characterized by pure Portugal, my friends at Pure Portugal, the people who help people, other people find land and homes where there's this idea of the good life and connecting with the land. Now, the, I think their intentions are very honorable and true and very kind of wholesome. And I think there's a, a lot of idealism often in that, which I, I believe could do with your uh, practicality and realism. Um, so that's that's probably what the intersection we're talking about here, isn't it? Is those people who are well-meaning and have somehow found Portugal as a place to, to have this good life vision take place. But as I think you might have alluded to just now, terrible mistakes can be made can't they in people not really knowing what they're doing practically they have a really up here like a high aim and a spiritual drive and and they're excited certainly if they were hearing you at the beginning of of this of this webinar the, of this discussion talking about you know your your approach to life that's really inspiring for people but there's a big there's a big space between that intention and how that could practically successfully work here in Portugal. And that's what I really want to talk to you about tonight and how, how we can help people um, not waste their money, not waste their time and not have a stressful journey in living the good life. And, and, and maybe not wasting a, a wonderful relationship. How easy for uh, yes. over 35 year old person is to understand that uh, if you make a bad decision, a bad choice on the, the house that you're buying or the, or the field that you're buying and the property, 
how easy is that uh, the relationship ends you know yeah. because it, it is a huge mistake that two people then realize and they are attached to it and they really want to detach from it you know yeah. so uh, and it's way worse for someone that already nearly died way worse to lose a, a, a wonderful companion than uh, actually a piece of land you know yes. so yes. It's it's uh, do not attach yourself to your dream. Attach yourself to your goal. Attach yourself to your mission. What you have, what can you bring here? If you put yourself to the service, then the right spot of land will find you easily because you will feel driven to it. You know, but if you if you bring your your dream and your your notes and your vision boards, I do vision boards too. It's cool, but uh, if you if you attach to too much to that thing you really want it then life can bring um, bitter surprises to you because it's not about what you, you want from life. It's about all about what you have to give to life, you know? So once you do it, you it's hard, but you're happy. You're happy. Right. Even in the hardest times, you will be happy because you will understand the meaning of, uh, uh, of gratitude, you know, and being grateful. And, uh, and uh, you can only understand uh, gratitude once you put yourself to the service uh, of life and so how what, what 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 then would be this i totally appreciate what you're saying there and i think others will get a sense of that too and what 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 do you suggest as the practical steps to be taken and the preparations to be made for somebody who is intent on con reconnecting with the land you know somebody who who like yourself was born in the city uh, may have had some sort of epiphany or life-changing realization, and they want to give service back to the to the ecology and to the to the land and to the kind of soul of of the of the country, rather than the more their more materialistic aims. Um, is there a process for that, or is it is it just su very there is, such, there is a process? There is, there is for sure. Uh, there is once you find the land, at least there is. Uh, it's um people pay to go to the gym people pay to go to the to the psychologist people pay to go to, to all kinds of therapy and all kinds of uh, uh retreats and, and guru guidance it's cool uh, mm -hmm. guru guide, so receive it it's cool uh do not overreact it because then you lose yourself but um once you have a piece of land there's something that you can do it's give one hour to, to the land because it's 365 hours per year, which means uh, nine uh, weeks of, uh, uh, of 40 weeks uh, or 40 hours per week. So nine weeks, it's two months. Two months of work you can give to your land and to your body and to your mind. So it's a, it's a, it's a pretty much all in one. You need some, some synesthetic or, or some awareness of of not getting injured for sure uh but also you need you need in a in a in a, in a gym and uh, also you need with life with the mind you know so once you do have it then uh, you will be starting to understand pretty much what what your service is what drives you better uh if it's streaming if it's construction if it's uh, I, I need to know a british gentleman that is my neighbor that i haven't met yet that is a wonderful carpenter you know he made something that maybe 50 percent of the expects have done the, he rented a house in a, in a nice city nice busy city with the rent he's living here with his family and um and that's 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 awesome you know because then you can have time for 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 giving yourself uh, to life and uh he's uh he was a carpenter or at least he liked carving, uh, being a carpenter, and uh, and now he's making works for for the community around. You know, so um, why not? I, I will need a gentleman to to make the frame of my house, and I heard that he might be able to do it. You know, so uh, I haven't been there to his garden, to his forest, to his vegetable garden uh but maybe his wife and kids are taking care of it and he's making wonderful pieces of uh, furniture you know it's awesome we need it you know yes 
Can I just ask you a bit more about this one hour? Are you talking about like a meditative connection with the land when you when you have it and, and to have that discipline? Could be. could be, could be. Why not a meditative way? Because uh, in, in, within contemplation, you will start to understand uh, the life all the animals in your ecosystem are having, you know, uh, the, the life of birds and, and, and the life uh, uh, of foxes and the life of... Uh, um, ground dogs and, uh, and all the animals and eagles and uh, you know and the trees even the trees and the leaves and the, and the and and the changes between storms and between good weather and between seasons you know so contemplation can also be a very uh, uh, positive way uh, of interacting with with nature because you will relearn how to be an animal uh, again you know and we are animals. And every animal has a contribution to the ecosystem, uh, and we, we we lost it somehow, you know, or we we still have, but it's totally disrupted, you know. For for instance, animals defecate, and with that they fertilize the land, and we are sending it to towers and stuff, you know, uh, 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 treat uh, treating stations, and then flushing it down to the sea. So we are not even giving our poops back to the land that we are from what we are eating, you know. So that's how disruptive we are, and uh, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's like every animal is contributing every time, every day, to to the ecosystem, and um, and we tend to complicate stuff and to and to over uh, over complicate with, with that situation. Uh, but we do have this capacity of making technology, and it's it's just awesome. It it can make uh, make a human being able to live in uh, in Alaska, you know, all year round, very happily. Yes. Okay, Joao. Well, so people, um, I think people might be getting a sense of how you can help and what your angle or perspective is. Um, which at what stage are you are you helping people when they're coming to to portugal to to buy land to reconnect with the land can, can you help at any stage because you know the traditional way for expats to buy land here is through real estate and that real estate tends to concentrate on some very material rational aspects doesn't it and you won't necessarily get the information that you talked about before like whether you know whether the the people the farmers next door are spraying with pesticides um mm -hmm. whether the whether the local camera is is cooperative and sensitive mm -hmm. what what how and, and at what stage can you help people well uh yes from from that stage it's pretty pretty easy uh for me to help so um as i know the the country like 300 thousand kilometers in the last five years uh, it, it kind of helps you uh, understanding uh, understanding the country um, I can also understand people uh, enough to to be able to tell them okay that's that's that could be a, a wonderful place for you or uh, that absolutely cannot be a place for you you know so if I see a couple in which uh, I can see that one of the persons is very urban, I couldn't uh, advise them to buy a house in Arganil, you know, that it's very mounty, you, know, you need so much time to reach everything from there and to there, uh, that would be very unlikely that they would be happy there, you know. So, um, and if you are totally obsessed with permaculture, for instance, please do not go to Ribatejo or near Santarém, you know, or the or the West, like Peniche, you know, it's, it's, uh, you're gonna get sprayed all around, you know. <laughs> so, and uh, if you are a vegan, also don't go to Santarém or, uh, you know, uh, because people, they're like bullfights and stuff, you know, so, and uh, if you really hate politics, there are some city halls that you should really avoid because they are very politized, politicized. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, what I mean. yeah. you know so the, um, uh, it's it's that maybe some things you can you you only are able to achieve with with uh, consultancy in the end, 
Yes. But uh, other things you can actually Google it, and other things you can actually uh, try it, prove it. So uh, the first thing that you should do uh, once you think you like uh, a region is to understand better uh, what happens in that region, and not only. I don't mean only how much does it rain, how much uh, how much uh, sun hours do you have, uh, all the even the water resources that nobody sees about the water resources. That's crazy, guys and girls. Please check about the water resources when you're buying land because you'll need it in the future. Nobody sees, for instance, also the routes of fire or very narrowly. So please understand that if you had a fire in your land you will have another extremely likely because they have roots uh, in which they go by cycles i can even predict uh, how much years you will have left until the next fire by the by the region that you are you know so oh. there are some things that uh, for instance you always should see the difference between uh the, the the price per square meter between in the same district uh between a land with a ruin and without a ruin once you see the land without a ruin then you will you will understand the the value of your land because the ruin uh, is bringing uh, a lot of noise to the to the real value of the land in that region you know and uh, and it means that if you need to get back uh, in a hurry and you need your money back uh, if it's not valuable land then you will not have a valuable uh, soil also you know so there are some some things that you can predict others uh, can become difficult one thing that, that i think it's mandatory once you find a, a, a property that you really want to buy the first thing you want to go the first place you want to go it's the city hall. It's the urban area. It's to check, just like a, 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 you know, like like a nerd, just go like a nerd and try to check the, the things how, how things are there. Just put yourself in the, in the actor of being a nerd, because then you will see how uh, bad people are or how great people are as a professionals. You know, so um, it's true that you have. Uh, so uh, there was the, this 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 lady you you saw also that on Facebook, as I asked, she told yes that, that, that the civil workers, the workers from the state, but that happens to every one of us, also Portuguese. It's just like that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but some places are better than others, you know, and some ways are better than others. And one thing is, uh, it's uh, it, it, a lot of workers in the state. They've lost, their, 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 they've surrendered their dreams. They are not following yes. their dreams for uh, the, um, the security of having a, a job contract in the, in the state, you know? Yes. So they can be resentful, they can be frustrated, they can have the tendency to, to exert authority on you because they are always having a, 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 a not a strong, but a but a tight authority and uh, above them, you know. So uh, there are a lot of strategies to overcome that. And the first thing is smile. It's compliment them for anything, you know. Oh, I just like so much your country. Oh, perfect. Pistolata. Just tell the truth. Tell what you like about the country. Tell what you like about their hair, their nails, their way of dressing, you know. Try to, to break the ice and try to make them realize that it can also be appreciated. And that kills uh, the arrogance, that kills the, the, the resentment, and that brings a, a, a new person, the person before having surrendered their dream, you know, the person that was there uh, all the time, you know. And once you get it, uh, then it's perfect. Another thing, ask for help for uh, your Portuguese neighbors and, and the Portuguese that like you and that you go along and that you interact and that you help also. Because <clears throat> there is something that is not in Portugal, but it, I think it's universal. But maybe more, yeah, I think it's universal. If you are brought to a, a circle by someone, you have a totally different experience. Yes. You know? yes. So if you know someone that knows someone in the in the in the uh, department of uh, registration, you know, ask them for a day that they could, and then you you you. 
you you go on on the day that that person can help you you know uh, to the the to the to, to the registration institute with that person that knows the person is inside okay. uh, maybe just for for neighborhood you know but yes. if you yeah. have uh, uh, another person that makes that person smile then you have a totally different experience That's if true. you uh, realize that that person today is having a, a really shitty day just surrender it go away and be back the next day the following day she was she will be having another mood or he will be having another mood you know so there are certain things in which if you don't uh, push it then you also will not suffer it and just realize that tomorrow will be another day and you can get a new experience but before buying and, and putting yourself so much money on buying a property really go to the city hall and feel that experience very and good very good love it um, and you are available for hire as a consultant right if people if people yeah. want your service they can get this kind of help and consultancy yes yes for instance today uh i've been uh, uh in a couple uh, that have bought a house nearby lisbon uh so it's still possible to have a country house nearby lisbon and it's uh it's it's medium size it's seven hectares and um and I'm helping them finding a country life uh, nearby the cities. <laughs> so in every each way, even by our energy. Uh, so they, for instance, it's a, someone. It's someone that is very fond of uh, uh, of uh, being uh, uh, energy autonomous, and uh, oh, okay. so I'm also helping with integrating biogas uh, with all the advantages and explaining all the advantages and making these uh, uh, water treatment plants uh, with uh, water treatment plants with plants so it's, it's not chemical not mechanical it's it's lakes and ponds uh, with plants that clean your water that clean clean your gray water while the biogas cleans and valorizes in energy your your dark water for instance uh, we are also making a, a microforest so the microforest is a way that you have to grow four meters high in three years at least uh if not more and having uh, uh, like a, a wall of trees some of them will reach 40 meters within 10 years so that's the microforest from from Miyawaki. so uh, every person um yesterday i even sunday i, I had uh, another consultancy for a person that was uh, that have bought some land of their neighbors in in, in, in a place of the, in the middle of the country in Cristal Branco, where all the places are, are are very small, all the all the properties are very small. So she bought like three or four just to have the the the, the pines and the fires a bit further from from her house. Mm. And uh, I was helping her in a, in the sense that okay, you need to make some some terraces here if you really want the the the, the, the trees to grow fast and not continually uh, continually losing soil so i can help anyone with any problem uh, and, and and finding any solution that is appropriate for them and for the, the the land and for the community that they are living in the in the best price possible brilliant and that's your um holistic and sustainable lens through which you're seeing all of this that i really appreciate and, and respect and value a um, couple more things then before before we finish because we're coming up to the hour. Um, uh, on a, a bit, I, I would really love to hear your. I mean, we've had some conversation about this about the future. You know, what the possible trajectories for humanity and how that relates to Portugal. Before we do that, which seems to be like a useful thing to talk about before we go into a new year with new possibilities. Mm -hmm. um, one, <laughs> and maybe we don't have enough time in five minutes, but. Mm -hmm. Um, one one camera, I think, not, notably um, uh, that should be acknowledged is Fundao. I've yeah. like, in the last in the last uh, yeah. two or three years uh, since Fundao came onto my map, um, mm -hmm. I thought, wow, I've seen these guys at Web Summit. I, I I've met Adriel on, only online from you know Shimajito Mushrooms. Um, our, we we have a, 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 a regular viewer of our show, Pete, who and who Pete. Uh, Solar Life Portugal on YouTube. He he loves Fundal and uh, the area, 
and I've been to um, I've been there. I've been to to the town. It feels like it's switched on. It feels like it's open to the kind of values and ideas you've been talking about. Is it alone in Portugal like that? What would you say about Fundão, and are there other places like it? Uh, well, um, there could be more. There could be more. But actually, Fundão is one of the most promising places that I've uh, that I've saw, uh, and it was the only one on my route map. Route map. I had three places in the, in the country to go, and uh, Fundão was one of them. And uh, or Fundão or the region of Fundão was one of them. Yeah. And um, and and actually, uh, it is a place if you meet the, the the president, the president of the city hall or the or the or the ministers, the vereadores. You understand that they are militants of Fundown. They are not militants of their party. They are also uh, having the having, having the, 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 the the party card, but they absolutely have the the Fundown card before anything else. You know, and that's that's the difference. Uh, that's the difference. If you you can really feel when you, when you're uh, with them. Uh, uh, if they are party people or if they are a community people and uh, you want to be in those that they are really really community people and uh, and uh, uh, because the other ones uh, it's it's like that if we have uh, uh, an extreme uh, right party like in every other uh, uh, democracy in, in europe at least uh, it's because the, um, the the traditional parties are getting corrupted in their values not to say in their pockets you know but they are getting really corrupted in their values and every time that uh, you just want to work with your own like it happens so much in parties uh, you're giving more uh, uh, more votes to extremists because then the system stops working you know stops working because you need everyone it's biodiversity it's like an ecosystem you need everyone for it to work it out you know so if you're not choosing the best the best people to work with but you're choosing the ones that have the the the, the, the party card you're losing your best team possible you're losing your best development possible and you're uh, uh, creating these these very narrow corridors that all the good people will just do not want to be there anyway you know so um it's something that you need to be in person to understand you can make a lot of questions you can you can check on other people uh it's it is always always helpful but also can bring you some noise but the best way it's really to to, to spend the fuel and, and the kilometers and actually go there well a call can help can really really help an email and the, uh, how fast is it is it answered can also help and uh, all these elements are extremely important if you're spending so much money in buying a, a house there you know uh, and uh, and then go to the to the local uh, coffee places and hear the or, or, or engage with the conversations and uh, and uh, uh, well every portuguese likes to 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 mourn uh, all the troubles in their life, you know. So if you just <laughs> listen to it, uh, you will have a happy Portuguese because he's so happy to be able to to mourn about the the the, the, the bad things working in their life, uh, working bad in their life. So, but that's very useful to understand that what might be happening there. For instance, I've heard Penel, I've heard, read, and, and saw. Penela could also be a very, very strong candidate yes, for, yes, Penel, yes, yes. You know, for good, uh, for good city hall. You know, yeah. so and uh, Mantegas for sure. Now that now I know Mantegas, that Flavio president. That's really rare stuff, you know. What's where, where is Mantegas? I don't know of this Mantegas, place. it's that uh, <clears throat> that city hall, that municipality in the really inside the the Serra da Estrela. Okay. With uh, amazing, amazing uh, uh, beaches on on, on uh, river beaches, uh, uh, river uh, really spring water, you know, bathing mm -hmm. on spring water, <laughs> a, a, a water that you can actually drink. Uh, it was blazed uh, a lot by by fires this this year, 
but uh, fortunately, the most iconic places stayed without without fire. Also, yes, because of the fireplaces really tried to save it. For uh, the, the firemen really tried to save it, and they managed to. And uh, and uh, the president, it's a big ball dude, you know. So someone that really doesn't have so much problem saying that okay, it's, it's something funny going around with the, the ways that uh, the firemen are, are organized and stuff. And uh, it, uh, it, it was actually voted the, the best quality of life in all Portugal this year, you know. And if you go there, you can understand why. If you call the city hall, you can understand how, why. If you see Flavio Massano on the YouTube, you can really understand why. And um, if I would have the need or the will to invest more, now that I'm at Fundão, it would be in Manteigas. Why not having a, something that I could also with tourism uh, to, you know, to, to, to leverage uh, a nature project or something like that, you know, but Manteigas, it's for sure some, a place that uh, has a lot of potential. <clears throat> very good, very good. Okay, final note then. Um, where are we headed? Humanity. It seems to me like with all mm. the problems of the world, um and how we've forgotten our place as as, as as i think you've been articulating throughout this conversation we kind of forgotten what our what we're about as human beings and what our contribution can be uh in this period of industrialization industrialization and rationalization of ourselves and it's it's it, it, you know the, the, you could argue that there's it's a pretty grim picture if we don't remember and if we don't do the work to reconnect properly um how do you see this do, do, i think portugal is a good place to be for the reconnection to take place no question about that um <clears throat> how, how how do you think it's looking how hopeful optimistic are you about the future of, of humanity well, uh, understanding the, the 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 catastrophe i'm optimist so i'm a cat cat optimist you know actually so <laughs> i actually understand no it's a it's a very very tough thing about the human nature uh, it's like a drug addict we are addict in uh, in consumism but we are some people are also addict in greed you know in and getting and getting and getting and getting and getting and getting it's like cocaine for instance you know yes so a lot of uh, people with uh, with drug problems uh, that you also might knew of we we came from the 80s you know remember that <laughs> so we know that you know um you sometimes you really really need to fall down to be able to understand where you have put in yourself you know so um and uh, we have changed the beat after the fires. We have changed the beat about uh, uh, after the pandemic. A lot of people. Uh, it's it was the year that I had more calls, you know, and more uh, agenda ahead. It was more on the pandemic because people realized that now they are they were having their 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 flat of freedom. You know, their freedom was flat on the on on the city flat you know so if they had a, a 50 square meter flat they would have 50 square meters freedom you know and if they would have an actor they would have an actor freedom and if they would have an actor in a in a village that uh, the 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 guard is not really going there anyway you know not like lisbon with uh, or cities in which the police were telling people to go go home you know during during the lockdown so people understood the really the value of freedom and they actually understood that one day for one reason even for a strike or even for for a storm they could stop having their food in the in the supermarket they could stop having their fuel on the on the on the on the, on the gas station you know so we uh, are a species that really needs uh, we learn by mistake that's cool you know yeah. um, mis mis mistake it's what you need those that do not make mistakes are those that are not trying you know because if you are trying to to reach somewhere you will do mistakes and from that mistake you will correct your 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 direction and not do again that same mistake but correct the direction and go, and go to the place uh that you want to be you know so uh, I understand that the catastrophe is needed for us to 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 change our direction, 
and um, and I can. Um, it's it's also on on a macro level, ecological level. We have become a blight, blight. So we are parasiting the the, the macro organism of Earth. You know, the the um, the, the heat uh, or, or, or the the, the, um, the global heat, uh, climate change. It's like a fever, you know. If you have a parasite sucking you, you will have fever. A storm is like a sneeze, you know. If you really want to get that parasite inside you, you sneeze it out, you know, with a storm. Or uh, then you're having it so so much in your nose that you're flooding the nose, trying to put that parasite away. So you can find so much paragons, so, so, so much comparisons on our own disease and the, and the macro system of Earth, planet of planet Earth disease, you know. So we have become, uh, since we are not uh, uh, cre uh, producing more resources than the ones that we are exhausting, just like any other animal, uh, the tendency is to become extinct. And the, the, the greatest scientists said that um, the most likely thing to have to happen even before going to other planets it's is for the human race to become become extinct and um, it's also extinction it's also something that can happen when uh, a determined species ecologically uh, uh, loses uh, its predator because it will grow so much then will consume the resources uh, and as it consumes the resources they will all starve or die you know so uh but we do realize it and we do have knowledge and we do have science to explain it so i'm also optimistic that <laughs> actually we can realize that we're not bringing any good for us and it's uh, uh, one day maybe uh, it will mean the, 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 the loss of a lot of kids with uh, with uh, diseases in their lungs and on cancer but one day we'll understand that spraying fuel with airplanes it's something not good for anyone because we are under it breeding it you know and uh, having nafta on 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 ships on big ships that makes uh, you to, if you are on 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 a, on a cruiser deck it's more polluted than uh, a mexico city center you know is that right i didn't know that yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Okay, to, oh, enjoy, you know, to enjoy that luxury comes with quite a cost then. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, now, if you're on the nose, no, but if you're on the back deck, usually where's the pool and stuff, you're being sprayed with NAFTA particles, you know? Wow. So, and we are using diesel and we know it's cancerous, uh, cancerous since the, the 70s, right? yeah. 50, 50 years from now, you know, and we're still using it. And... Uh, we know hydro hydrogen can be made out of the, the seawater and we are burning trees to take out the hydrogen from it and call it green hydrogen. <laughs> because it comes from trees. Renewable sources. Oh, you know, yeah. and we do have the ocean to do it, you know, and the electrolysis and the, and the tides from the ocean to do it by the ocean. So we do have a natural tendency for, um, for doomsday. You know, and uh, but some mice, some kind of mice, animal, furry animal, actually survived the mass extinction, the last mass mass extinction from the from the the which which the, the dinosaurs were was the species most known, uh, and some kind of tiny mouse actually survived, and one day uh, created a hape. And then from a hype created us, you know, so humans. And uh, hopefully some some little mouse <laughs> will escape from the next uh, from the next doomsday. <laughs> what a cheerful note to end on. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we had five already, you know. We had already five mass extinctions. So, uh, and we are understanding that uh, climate change, it's a natural process that drives us to uh, uh, mass extinctions, also meteorites. But climate change, you know, and uh, uh, but the, the the situation is that this climate change is not happening in ten thousand years; it's happening in in one century. Yes. So, yeah. 
interesting, <laughs> interesting times then, and interesting points of view, and infinite possibilities as well, right? I mean, that's True. that's that's True. the amazing thing about our True. human predicament, isn't it? Is that as as uh, as um, as great the volume of things we might concern ourselves with and that seem quite negative, we have as many positive possibilities as well. I and do. I guess, I yeah, it depends. We do where have we them all. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. So, but if we are autonomous, then we, we will have a chance. And, what uh, do you mean by that? Means autonomous. that you produce your energy, that you produce your food, that you valorize your, your waste. So you, yeah. it's not waste anymore. That you circle it and uh, make it a resource once again. Okay. And uh, and yeah, if you if you are managed to control a bit the quality of the water, the quality of the air, and the quality of the food, then you might be able to 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 find a quality of life well in a general way without doomsday anyway. You know. Yes, because we have to, we have to live anyway, don't we? Our individual lives. And yeah. I think it's fair and safe to say that we can do that here in Portugal. There's many opportunities sure. in the interior, in the central Portugal. It remains a wonderful backdrop context for this. And Joao Oliveira, who's, who's, who we've, I've been talking to this evening, can help you with that. Um, and this is the, sure. the website. This is mushmore.net. Uh, and I'll put the um, – let me put that onto the screen again for you so you can find out where to find Joao. Uh, if you want his special kind of help that he's been talking about this evening. And uh, there's a lovely picture of an idyllic scene um, that Guess you can see. Where is that? It's uh, the, the land that we bought in Fundão. Is it? That's your own land, is it? Yeah, this, yeah. Uh, the left side, yeah. You're a lucky man. That's very good. Or, or not, not necessarily a lucky man, but a, a wise man. I should say yes, yes, but I did have chosen it uh, in 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 very high detail. So I made myself everything that I made to my clients, you know. So yes. it was really, really uh, not on passion, but yes. on uh, on Russian only. Joao, you know? well, thank you so much for talking with me this evening. I've kept you thank longer you than I than I I said I would, and I'm going to play it's, a little film cool. of the coast of windmills. It just seems right. And it's our invitation okay. as the Portugal Club. Thank you, my friend. Uh, Thank you, Carl. In soon. Take care and bye for now. You ciao, too. ciao. Bye bye. Thank you. Well. Wow.